Welcome back everyone to today's first video we're going to be doing our first snow watch of the winter. We have already had some snow at uh, start of December but it wasn't really enough to do really a snow watch so now we are going to do the first snow watch of the winter because there um, there was not really much chance of snow um, on these easterly winds that are going to start dragging in um, starting today but over the last day and over the last couple of hours we are seeing signs that we could actually see quite um a bit of snow coming on in these sleety winds especially for the east and the south so without further ado let's get straight into this okay so here we go so we'll start today at there we go at the current time so let's get straight into this so here we go okay so here's this current situation with um precipitation so once again we have high pressure over the country as you can see we've got the high pressure symbols here and we've not really got much around we've got um some showers in the channel as you can see a couple of wintry showers maybe um a little bit wintry on the east coast but there's nothing really happening so let's see what happens over the next couple of days so here we go so we're going to run through right now so here we go so right off we go so as we continue we do see there is actually a sign of some possible um, snow showers um, right at the start if we just go to our there as we go forward just here you do see there is a little bit of a there's still flurries around even this early as you can see for northern England just here as you can see there is some showers around the coast and there is a couple of snow showers trying to get inland now as we continue we keep them wintry showers and then we get rid of them and then we do start to see the main focus the main focus is some showers coming into the south and the east so as you can see we do start to see a couple of snow showers coming into the southeast just here and by three o'clock tomorrow we actually do see um this signal strengthening quite a lot and we start to develop something looking a bit like a streamer and they can produce quite a lot of snow so as, you, as we continue that um, area of precipitation drifts across the south coast possibly bringing a little bit of snow as you can see um, then as we continue once again it slides across the coast probably giving a little bit of winteriness for, uh, for parts but that is that and then really it sort of dies down and then the high pressure starts building and that's what we look like and all the way into the extended range uh, we start bringing northerly winds down and going quite wintry but we are way um that is way out so we can't really say about that yet so that's what the uh, the gfs look like now let's see what the the gm looks like so here we go okay so this is the current situation with the gem so it does look quite interesting already you can see them snow showers over towards france um, we've got a couple of winter showers in the north once again that little area of precipitation in the east maybe a couple of patchy showers um for the southeast and we do have a little bit area of precipitation just here um i don't know where that's come from but possibly could see a, a couple of flurries with that so um that's how the gem starts off looking like as we run through with the gem we actually continue to see that little band just here is there a little bit of something developing there bringing a little bit of snow um we haven't really seen that then we do see there's still showers around but not much and then when we get into tomorrow we do start to actually to see some showers actually quite picking up um more than we've seen from other models and they actually get quite far inland um as you can see maybe becoming quite widespread with some of them showers all the way up to scotland as well so the gem looking a little bit different than some of the other models and just continue them showers continue and look how much they start packing in 
to the east coast here. I mean, it's not a very high resolution model, but I mean, look how much showers are coming in on that easterly wind. Looks very, very interesting if this comes off. And I mean, look how far inland uh, they end up getting just there. Uh, I mean, look at that. All the Midlands and all that. We all look like we're getting some snow showers just there. So if that came off, then I wouldn't see why there wouldn't be quite a lot of snow around with that for tomorrow morning. Then once again, they start to die off and drop south. But there's still showers around, uh, uh, around the Pennines and over Wales. Um, yeah, so still winter showers around. Then we die off when we get under that high area of high pressure. Then as we go into the extended range, we bring that cold front down and we start to go colder and more wintry from the north. So that's how we finish off. But it is looking quite interesting, um, actually, for the next couple of days. I mean, look how we finish off by the 17th of January. That, that's what's happening. So uh, that probably won't verify, but it's just a little bit of a sneak peek. So that's what the GEM looks like. So the GEM actually looks um, like we could have quite a lot of snow. I'm not really sure about that but as you can see just there i mean a lot of the countries are all under them snow showers i don't know if that that that's been shown by much of the other models today but that's definitely a different concept maybe a stronger easterly wind the, the wind is wrapping in from the east just here as you can see you can see these isobars um just here the wind wrapping in from the east but it's quite a big area of snow showers just there so that's what the GEM look like. Let's see what the UKV has got in store. So here we go. Okay, so here's the UKV. The UKV is known for being a bit more high resolution. So maybe a little bit more accurate um, than what we saw. And it is going hour by hour. So we uh, do see more in depth what is going on. So here we go. This is the current situation. So once again, we can't see, there is a little hint of a couple of showers towards the Pennines coming in, but there's nothing like the GEM um, by this point just there. So that's what we look like. As we continue into the evening today and into tonight, we keep seeing, actually, there's quite a couple showers packing in um, to the northeast England just there, as you can see, maybe southern Scotland, northeast England getting a couple of showers. Then we see some cloud packing and we do start seeing um, quite a lot of snow showers into winter showers, snow showers into the southeast corner of the country. So maybe a little covering for the southeast if that came off. And we do see them quite pick up. There is quite a lot of showers there becoming a little bit more widespread. So the a high resolution model is still picking up s some snow um, for tomorrow. Into the day, the showers actually do become a little bit more widespread just here, as you can see. But it's nothing like the GEM, nothing like um, snow all around here. There still is showers, though, no, getting nowhere near as far north. But there still is possibility. But there is cloud around. Uh, after them flurries have cleared, the skies, um, the skies also clear. Get some sunny spells, and them. Um, yeah, under that high pressure, very, very dry. Not much goes on by that point. So maybe the UKV going for some showers, but nowhere near as much as the GEM. Um, um, so as you can see, that is probably the best um, from the UKV just here with that area of snow showers just there. So it is a, still quite a big area of snow showers, but they don't. It doesn't look anywhere as good as what the GEM just said so maybe maybe we do get some showers but maybe not as much widespread as we just saw now we're going to finish off with the icon so let's see what the icon's saying here we go okay so we're on the icon now and just before we start I just want to say this isn't as high this is nowhere near as high resolution as the UKV so it's probably going to be a little bit more uncertain but still we're going to have a look what it's looking like so this is the current situation so the current situation is looking like this so we've got actually quite a big band of showers and precipitation out in the north sea we've got a little couple of showers clipping the southeast coast a couple of wintry showers in Scotland but there's not really anything as we start off from the icon now, as we go into the night tonight, we do see a couple of winter showers around over the country. Then, look what um, starts to appear. We see a, something looking a bit like a streamer here with quite a lot of snow 
uh, in a line trying to clip the coast and it actually strengthens and look it's getting quite heavy just here as you can see this area of showers just there it will be showers it won't exactly look like that it's not that big of an area but it actually starts packing into the country by tomorrow dinner time and bringing quite a lot of snow showers for the south and south east and the east coast a little bit um, as you can see just here but do we does it get any more widespread will it get any further north let's have a look um, so we actually do start getting them a bit further in land it is quite a strong area precipitation just here now with the showers getting into land so definitely a possible covering from the uk v um and then the showers do get a little bit more widespread here as you can see uh, we see them pushing further up the country to around here um just like that but they'll probably just be very light flurries and we do see the showers stay around and maybe a little another precipitation area here um, to the northwest of Cornwall, South Wales, and we do keep that area of precipitation um, in the channel. Now, after that, we clear the showers away, but there is still streamers around. Maybe a little snow for Cornwall there, as you can see on the um, top edge of that precipitation. But then, after this, we shift that low pressure away. Um, but we still, by Tuesday, are seeing signs that there is a little bit of snow around for the south. Okay, by this point, we do start to clear it off under that high pressure. And we calm down, and that is how we finish on Thursday, the, uh, the 11th of January. So that is what the main models are looking like at the moment um, with the weather. So with, there is, obviously, there will be some possible snow uh, definitely for the southeast and the south we could see quite a lot of snow showers packing in but for further north of the country i don't feel really think there's much chance of much really i'm saying the showers could probably get as far north as birmingham um uh, tomorrow in the midday but by that point we're probably gonna start to lose that moisture as the high pressure Bills over the country so we could see some snow but not that much at the moment but we could see more with the weeks to come so make sure you uh, stay tuned thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one goodbye